find CN for the signal given below. In this question, we are required to find CN for the signal XT. You can see the expansion of signal XT is already given in the question, but this expansion is not complex exponential Fourier series expansion. And to find different values of CN, it is important to have the complex exponential Fourier series expansion. So we need to convert this expansion to complex exponential Fourier series expansion. But first, I will write down the complex exponential Fourier series expansion. It is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e raised to power jn omega naught t when n is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 we will have c0 e raised to power j0 omega naught t this means we have c0 e raised to power 0 or we can write 1 so we have c0 and when n is equal to 1 we will have c1 e raised to power j omega naught t so we will have c1 e raised to power j omega naught t and when n is equal to 2 we will have c2 e raised to power 2j omega naught t in place of n you only need to put 2 so we will have e raised to power 2j omega naught t in the same way you will have different terms up to infinity now when you put n equal to minus 1 you will have c minus 1 e raised to power minus j omega naught t so c minus 1 e raised to power minus j omega naught t similarly when you put n equal to minus 2 you will have c minus 2 e raised to power minus 2j omega naught t up to minus infinity so this is the complex exponential Fourier series expansion of signal xt and we will convert the given expansion in this form and after comparison we can easily find different coefficients now we will move to the conversion and for conversion we will use Euler's formula we already know Euler's formula is equal to e raised to power i x equal to cos x plus i sin x I will write it as e raised to power i alpha I am not writing x here because we are using x as the notation for the given signal so we have e raised to power i alpha which is equal to cos alpha plus i sine alpha let's call it first equation now if we have e raised to power minus i alpha we will have cos alpha because cos minus alpha is equal to cos alpha minus i sine alpha because sine minus alpha is equal to minus sine alpha let's call it second equation now i will add first and second equations and this will give us e raised to power i alpha plus e raised to power minus alpha on the left hand side and on the right hand side i sine alpha i sine alpha will cancel out and we will have twice of cos alpha so from here we can write cos alpha is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to power i alpha plus e raised to power minus i alpha now we will subtract the second equation from the first equation and this will give us e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha on the left hand side and on the right hand side cos alpha will cancel out and we will have twice of i sine alpha or we can write sine alpha is equal to 1 divided by 2i inside the bracket e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha now we will use this to convert the given expansion in this form in place of cos alpha we can write 1 by 2 e raised to power i alpha plus e raised to power minus i alpha and in place of sine alpha we can write 1 divided by twice of i inside the bracket e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha the process is very easy you have to be careful about the calculations though you can see the first term is a constant it is 3 there is no cosine and sine term along with 3 so we will write it as it is so we have 
signal x t equal to 3 plus the second term is twice of sine omega naught t here we have term of sine so we will use this conversion in place of sine omega naught t we will have 1 divided by 2 j e raised to power j omega naught t minus e raised to power minus j omega naught t because alpha is equal to omega naught t here and we are using j in place of i so we have twice of 1 divided by 2j you can look at this formula e raised to power j omega naught t minus e raised to power minus j omega naught t now we will move to the third term here we have cos omega naught t omega naught t is the alpha so we will use this formula we have 1 divided by 2 inside the bracket e raised to power j omega naught t plus e raised to power minus j omega naught t now we will move to the last term and in this we have cos 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 this whole angle plus phase is equal to alpha so we will use this formula and we will have 1 divided by 2 inside the bracket e raised to power j 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 plus e raised to power minus j 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 so this is what we have and now we will perform few simplifications to have the final form 2 and 2 will cancel out so we have 3 plus 1 by j e raised to power j omega naught t minus 1 by j e raised to power minus j omega naught t 1 by j e raised to power minus j omega naught t plus 1 by 2 e raised to power j omega naught t 1 by 2 e raised to power j omega naught t plus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega naught t minus j omega naught t in the last obtained result we need to do one calculation and for this i will first open the bracket and i will split e raised to power j 2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 so we have 1 by 2 e raised to power j or i can write 2 j omega naught t multiplied to e raised to power j pi by 4 because we already know e raised to power a plus b is equal to e raised to power a multiplied to e raised to power b i have used this to write this in this form now we will do the same thing with this term here we will have 1 by 2 e raised to power minus 2j omega naught t multiplied to e raised to power minus j pi by 4 now we will calculate the value of e raised to power j pi by 4 and e raised to power minus j pi by 4 using the Euler's formula. It is a constant, 1 by 2 is also constant and similarly in this case 1 by 2 is a constant, e raised to power minus j pi by 4 is a constant. So let's quickly solve it. e raised to power j pi by 4 is equal to cos pi by 4 plus j sin pi by 4 cos pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 and sin pi by 4 is also equal to 1 by root 2 simplifying this we will have 1 plus j divided by root 2 similarly when you calculate e raised to power minus j pi by 4 you will find it is equal to 1 minus j divided by root 2 so 1 by 2 multiplied to 1 plus j divided by root 2 is equal to 1 plus j divided by 2 root 2 and from here we will have 1 minus j divided by 2 root 2 so we are approaching to the final answer of this question we will have 3 plus e raised to power j omega naught t is common in these two terms so we will take it common and we will have 1 divided by j plus 1 by 2 inside the bracket e raised to power j omega naught t we are done with this term this term and this term e raised to power minus j omega naught t is common in these two terms so we are having 
minus 1 divided by j plus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus j omega naught t. After this, we have e raised to power 2j omega naught t and the coefficient is equal to 1 plus j divided by 2 root 2. 1 plus j divided by root 2 is from e raised to power j pi by 4 we have seen and this 1 by 2 was already there so we have 1 plus j divided by 2 root 2 e raised to power 2j omega naught t. Similarly, from the last term we are having 1 minus j divided by 2 root 2 e raised to power minus 2j omega naught t. Now we can easily compare this expansion with the standard one and we will have c minus 2, c minus 1, c0, c1 and c2. But there is one more simplification which you can do. You can multiply j in numerator and j in denominator and you will have minus j here. We are focusing on 1 by j. We are having 1 by j and if you multiply j in numerator and j in denominator you will have j divided by j square or you can say you will have j divided by minus 1 which is equal to minus j. So in place of 1 by j we will have minus j. Similarly in place of minus 1 by j we will have j. So let's quickly write the final forms of the two coefficients. We are having 1 by 2 minus j here and here we will have 1 by 2 plus j. Now we will compare the obtained expansion with the standard one. You can see c0 is equal to 3. I will write the answer on the right side of the board. c0 is equal to 3. If you see the coefficient of e raised to power minus 2j omega naught t, you will find it is equal to c minus 2. And here the coefficient of e raised to power minus 2j omega naught t is equal to 1 minus j divided by 2 root 2. So c minus 2 is equal to 1 minus j divided by 2 root 2. Coefficient of e raised to power minus j omega naught t is c minus 1. So from here we have 1 by 2 plus j as the coefficient c minus 1. 1 by 2 plus j. Similarly c1 is equal to 1 by 2 minus j, 1 by 2 minus j and c2 is equal to 1 plus j divided by 2 root 2. c2 is equal to 1 plus j divided by 2 root 2. So this is the answer and I hope the process is clear to you. This question is important for your university exam and also for the competitive exam. The question was not difficult. The only important thing is the process. So if you have any doubt regarding this question, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.